All right, guys, so here it is. This is gonna be the Kalashnikov USA licensed KR-104. This is the SBR variant. There's also a KR-104S with the skeleton stock. This one has the slim solid stock profile on it. From here on forward, I'm gonna call it the AK-104 because that's kind of what it's, uh, what it's mimicking here, what it's uh, replicating. The great price point on this thing, it's sub $200. You're getting a lot of features for under $200 on a fully automatic uh, select fire AEG. And uh, here's some of the things that I really appreciated about it. Right out of the gate, obviously, if you're an AK fan uh, or enthusiast or you know a little bit about them, you know that they use the version 3 gearbox. The version 3 gearbox, uh, a lot of people will debate you until they're blue in the face. Uh, the version 3 can be considered tougher, a little bit stronger, uh, more durability and more longevity when compared to like a version 2 gearbox in an M4 or an MP5. So yeah, I don't take regular TM spec AK mags. AK-47. It's going to take your standard TM style AK-47 mags. Uh, so if you have a bunch of those style mags, um, you're good to go. They'll feed perfectly in here. Now the cool thing about this Kalashnikov USA, this licensed AEG, is it comes with a 140 round mid cap mag, which is nice. Uh, it felt good, solid, impact resistant polymer construction. Um, just a good poly AK mag, uh, 140 rounds on this thing. It fed great, shot great, but you can use your TM compatible AK-47 mags too. So if you have a bunch of those, you're good to go. The classic AK style adjustable hop up on the side here, sliding back and forth. You can really fine tune this thing. I was able to float 0.30 gram BBs with no issues. AK style adjustable sights. Um, as you know, we're all familiar with these. And then just like the OG Toki Marie AK-47, this is gonna be a polymer ABS style polymer lower receiver with a metal receiver cover, which is also the battery storage compartment. Uh, in this case, in this video, I was using an 11.1 .1 stick battery. Um, it performed great, shot great, great rate of fire. Rack and light trigger semi-auto real fast. Uh, it was a nice crisp report. I was able to get really snappy results on semi-auto. So really nice, lipo ready. So if you got the 11.1 .1 sticks, you're good to go on that. This version has the slim solid stock profile. That's not gonna be offering any battery storage. I just kinda like it because it reflects kind of the popular configuration with that solid stock on, on these, uh, these 104 type AKs. So uh, I just kinda went with that. I thought it was neat looking. It does fold to the side real nice, real crisp with the buttons here. So if you're riding in a vehicle or you just need to get smaller in a CQB situation or for storage, it's easier to fold that stock over and um, yeah, and then you can unfold it whenever you want. Uh, out of the box, this is going to be shooting about 330, 340 feet per second with a 0 0.20 gram BB. Uh, it's a little bit on the low side, especially if you're going to be using it for a field gun, an outdoor gun. But that being said, it does have a quick change spring option on it, which is an awesome feature for, you know, again, a sub $200 AK variant AEG. Uh, you just simply pop off that receiver cover and then fold that stock over and then boom. Right there, you can just pop out the old spring and then put in a uh, you know heavier tension spring. So if you want to adjust your FPS, if you want to make it uh, higher or lower, it's going to be easy to do and you don't have to take the, the gearbox out of the gun. You can just do a quick and easy spring swap, which is always cool to see on an AEG. Lots of metal components and features on this thing. Uh, obviously, you know, the, the top receiver cover is going to be full metal. The outer barrel is going to be metal, trigger metal, trigger guard metal. And then things that I like to see that are important on a sub $200 gun that they don't skimp out on. So, for instance, one thing that I really like to see on this is it's got the metal um, mag BB feed well right here. So this is what clips into your mag. Sometimes on a, on a lower end AK uh, or, or, or guns that use this AEG that uses this style of BB feed well, they'll cheap out the plastic. It's easy to get marred up, bent, chipped, things like that, it'll break. So it's, it's nice to see that they made the things count. They made it metal where it counts and where you wanna see the metal parts so it'll hold up a little bit longer. So that's good to see on this for sure. On the side of this thing, it does have the AK style optic mount. So you can get that after market optic mount, put that on there and it'll give you a little segment of rail on top so you can put your favorite optic on it, red dot, whatever, you're good to go there. So it is optic ready. Um, it, you just have to buy the optic mount separately as is pretty normal with these style of AKs. The heft on it is nice. It's seven pounds, so it is lighter compared to other AEGs out there, which is kind of cool if you're having an all day type thing and you don't want to have a you know, 10 pound plus gun uh, because you know the heavier the gun is, the more it's gonna take it out of you as the day goes on, as you know. So um, if you're looking for something 
uh, like a modern style AK, boom, you might want to check this out. It's sub $200. It's got that quick change spring feature. Uh, TM mag compatibility is good to go. Fine tuning on that hop up, sleek fill, uh, metal where you want to see metal on this thing. Nice and lightweight, easy to maneuver, good all day playing gun, snappy shooter for sure. If you're looking for something modern like a AK-104 type variant, definitely give it a shot. It's the Kalashnikov USA License KR-104 SBR AEG. Give it a Google or ask for to check it out at your favorite local retailer. Thanks for watching, guys. Play safe, play smart. See you next time.